What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, R.A.P., man. I appreciate everybody tapping into another episode of Purple Pocket Podcast, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments, man. Today, we're going to talk about the draft pick. You know, Vikings got the 12th pick in the draft, and where I feel like we should go with the pick, just assuming that we're not getting rid of Kirk Cousins or... You know, we just keeping the 12th pick, no trades happen, we ain't moving up in the draft or anything like that. So, I mean, in my opinion, there's really two players that I feel like we would just have to go after if they're available, which one of them would definitely be available at 12, I'm sure. But, you know, the first pick for me is going to be Stingley. All right, Stingley from the LSU Tigers. You know, we, we need a defensive back. And we know we need a defensive back. Like, we got Cameron Dantzler, right? Which, I mean, <clears throat> honestly, Cameron Dantzler was one of my favorite players. As a rookie, I was just excited to see him play because, I mean, I watched his college highlights. I didn't watch him in college, but, I, you know, once we drafted him, I went back and did all my little research on him, watching all his highlights. I tend to do that once we draft a player, go back and try to see what they offer. And I just felt like he was just going to be a real feisty you know, cornerback, and, and he showed he showed some promise, you know what I mean, getting interceptions. He, he's always where the ball is. Like, that's one thing I can say about him. You know, he had a little slope here recently, but it just seems like he's always, when the ball's thrown, he's, he's there, he's there. You know what I'm saying? So he's something that we can really, you know, form him. He can be a great cornerback. So he he's a lock, you know what I mean? I think he's a lock. He can actually stay with us. We can develop him, all right? But Stingley... I think he's just ready right now. Like, we draft Stingley, he's starting. He's going to be like a Diggs or something like that where he can just come in, you know, Patrick Satan can just come in and start contributing right away, you know. So I'll be all right, I'll be all right with Stingley playing, you know, 12th pick. We can pick Stingley up. That would be, be a good pick for us, all right. The second option for me would be another cornerback, and that's, and that's Sauce Gardner, man. You know, it just got to be Sauce Gardner, man. It got to. Now, Sauce, I mean, he got all these, you know, good stats for college. He played for Cincinnati. So, you know, you can't really can't really bank bank on the fact that he ain't allowing touchdowns and he only allowing 20 yards and this, that, and the third because, you know, the conference he plays in, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's Cincinnati, man. And obviously, we seen they shouldn't. It's crazy because, you know, back in the day, we used to be like, well, we need to give these little schools chances to play, you know, in the college playoffs. But as you see, the competition just isn't the same. You know what I mean? But you know, at the end of the day, I think as an individual player, he's a really good player, man. He, he feisty. He long. You know, him and Stingley, they both long. They can, you know, they got long arms, get to the ball, you know, quick speed, good tackling. So, you know, because we, we definitely need help on the cornerback position. See, one thing for sure, the way the league is set up now, the cornerback position is one of the most important positions, you know, other than a quarterback, I feel like, because you think they the, the league is a passing league. If you can get a, imagine, could you just imagine if you had, you know, like Patrick Satan, the way he played, just imagine if you had three of those type of guys as your cornerbacks, you know what I mean? How difficult it would be for a team to throw the ball on you or Jalen Ramsey's, three Jalen Ramsey's on the field, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I know, obviously, Jalen players like Jalen Ramsey, they don't come all the time, but, you know, I'm just saying just some solid corners. Like, because Chris Boyd, you know, like, Chris Boyd, he's super fast, but he just played too much. You know what I mean? Like, like in a way, not playing on the field too much. He just, he, I just seem, it just seemed like he don't take it serious enough. You know, he always joking and he get one little tackle. He all hype and stuff like, dog, like, you just allowed a 50-yard pass over the top of your head to play before. Like, what is you hype about? Ain't nothing to be happy about, bro. Like, for real, you know, he just, I just don't like his attitude. I just feel like he just want to joke around and take it, you know. So I don't, I don't think he's a starting cornerback. Chris Boyd is somebody you can put in if an injury happens, you know, put him in there for a game and just hope that it's one of his good days, you know what I'm saying? But we, we definitely can't go into the season with Chris Boyd as an option for us at cornerback. Like, we just cannot do that. 
you know um bringing bringing back patrick i'm all right with that you know like because i feel like he's a veteran he his technique is just really good even though he might not be as fast as he used to be i think he's fast enough you know what i mean to hold the second wide receiver you don't know he can guard the second wide receiver on the teams you know wide receiver twos and and do a good job at that i just don't i mean at the end of the day he getting up there you know, he he started his little pod. He got his little podcast going. I think he's trying to go into another field. And, you know, I think he just loves the game so much that he wants to keep going. But, I mean, it's time it's, it's time to move on from that. I wouldn't be mad if we brought him in just to be like a mentor. You know what I mean? And and he, obviously he's going to play. But, you know, there's something like that. Something if we get Gardner, if we do draft Gardner, he can at least mentor him. Him and Dantzler, man. I mean, Gardner and Dantzler. To me, that sound like a that sound like a duo I'm okay with. See, I just worry about pick 12 with Stingley because Stingley's so good and he's so ready, NFL ready. I don't know if he's going to be there at pick 12. See, that's the thing. Like, I feel like Gardner's going to definitely be there at pick 12, but, you know, Stingley might go. I mean, honestly, Stingley might go within the top five like because there really ain't no quarterbacks in this draft this year that's really, like, popping out where it's like, oh, we got to draft this guy. You know, so, I mean, really, this is going to be all about offensive line, defensive line, cornerback, safeties, because the boy from um, Notre Dame, I'm all right with him, too. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just need defensive backs, though. We need cornerbacks for sure. So, Stingley and Sauce Gardner, them my dudes, man. Them dudes I feel like we should go for, for sure, for sure. That'll be a good draft in the first round. We should go for them, you know, and then as the other rounds go, Obviously, try to get some offensive linemen, see what they can do. You never know. You might find a gym, you know. Um, like, I mean, if you look at the stats, Gardner had a better year than Stingley last year in the college. But, I mean, I think that's because Stingley was hurt or something. Because I looked at the stats and he wasn't, you know, you see the stats right here on the screen. And he really, I don't know what been going on last year. But at the end of the day, I mean, Gardner just been... He been balling out last year, man. He really was balling out, you know, and we need somebody like that on our team, bro. Like, and I know Zimmer always wanted to draft a cornerback, and we trying to get rid of that old, that old style that Zimmer had, you know, that he was bringing to the team. But at the end of the day, the reality is we need him. You know, we need him. We need a defensive back. So it got to happen. We got to make it happen, right? But, yeah, man, that's my take, man. Man, I got some merch. The merch done drop, man. Y'all see it right here, man. Y'all make sure y'all go click the link in the description. Order your I'm a Skoja sweaters, T-shirts. You know, I got the long sleeve shirts, man. Y'all make sure y'all show support, man. Show support to the page. Make sure y'all keep liking, subscribing. And I'm going to bring y'all Vikings content on a daily, bro. You already know what time it is. Holla at your boy. Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.